how to use ecom sent pop-ups with your shopify hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step how we can use this app from installing it and how to actually set it up so this is going to be a complete guide on how to use it now if you don't know what ecom sent uh, pop-ups app is actually going to do for you it's going to do a lot of things when it comes to pop-ups so it's actually going to show pop-ups to help you with your email marketing for example it's actually going to show you pop-ups uh, with you know people who are trying to exit the page so it's called exit intent pop-ups so whenever somebody tries to exit the page by going to the top right of their page so they exit it's actually going to show them a pop-up with a discount code and obviously more discount pop-ups spin wheels there's plenty that you can actually use this app for so with that being said let's just go in and start by showing you exactly how to install it and set it up now the first thing is that you will need to open up your shopify admin make sure you're in this page in the main dashboard and once you're in here you just want to go to the, the uh, shopify app store and to access that you can just click on apps all recommended apps and just click on shopify app store down here now you just need to search for ecom send pop-ups and once you search for ecom send pop-ups you should be able to see it right away so you can actually see ecom send pop-ups email pop-ups and uh, the price is going to be for free so right now we can actually go ahead and click on install and if you want to feel free read more about it so you can actually see here uh, grow your email and sms marketing list with opt-in pop-up or email sign up forms uh, retain potential potential customers with exit intent or spin the wheel pop-up games which is what i just mentioned and there's also more to it so if you want to read more about it you can also feel free to do so but right now we can just go and uh, skip ahead and click on install which is going to open up another page here just to confirm the installation so we will need to um, click on install one more time here from the bottom right in order to finalize the process and then we can just uh, start the setup uh, of the app so let's just go and give it a second here and by the way we can just feel free to exit out of these two different pages here we don't really need them and we should land in this main dashboard so right now we are just going to start with the main setup for the actual app so let's just go and show you exactly what you, what you need to do now the first thing before we do anything and we you know before we do any setup stuff we do actually need to go and click on online store in order to make sure we enable the app embed otherwise no, none of this is going to actually show up on your store and if you have this problem where you installed the app and did everything but you don't really see the pop-ups it's because you missed this step so make sure you just go to online store go to themes and once you land in themes you just want to open up the theme that you're currently using which in my case is dawn theme and click on customize once you uh, once you click on customize this is going to open up for you and you basically just want to go to the bottom left here where you will find app embeds here in the left dashboard this is going to just show us all the different apps with embeds and we can feel free to enable them or disable them from this section so just click on app embeds right down here and once you click on that you should be able to see ecom send pop-up and you need to turn this on if you don't see it and there's you know plenty of different apps here just feel free to search for ecom send pop-up and you'll be able to find it right away make sure this is turned on and if it is just click on save from the top right and once changes have been saved you can safely just exit out of this page and move on to the next step now we just need to continue on with the setup so just click on apps and open up the ecom send pop-ups if you want to pin it you can also feel free to do so just to make things easier for you okay so now that we have enabled the app uh, embed which i did not even see that this is a thing you can actually make things a lot easier for you by just clicking on enable app embed which is pretty much just going to take you to the same place that i just showed you but anyways regardless of how you did it we can now move on to the next step which is create a pop-up so click on create a pop-up or you can just go to pop-ups here from the left panel either way is going to work but if it's your first time you will find this option so create a pop-up 
that attracts visitors to become subscribers and you just want to click on create pop-up and in here we are going to start by selecting a template for the pop-up now we either go for a spin wheel pop-up or we, we can just go in and go for an opt-in pop-up so we can feel free to do both but i'm just going to go for the opt-in pop-up for the time being and click on create pop-up i've said pop-up many different times and i don't like that <laughs> anyway so now that we have that we are pretty much in the editor of the pop-up so we can feel free to adjust everything that you can actually see on the screen and it's actually going to be very easy and we have the start status we have the success status so this is going to be when someone fills in the form and this is what's actually going to be shown for them and we also have the sticky discount bar which we also can feel free to adjust and we also have the sidebar widget which is going to show up on our site as well so we can just start with the start status and feel free to adjust this as we please now from the left panel you're going to have rules content and also style now style let's just get style out of the way style is going to be pretty much you know the uh, design aspect of the entire thing so we can just feel free to add a logo for example i'm just going to add this one which is not our logo i'm just going to be using it as if it is and then we can just feel free to change more things about it so for example the layout of things we want to change the color of things the background color of the pop-ups and we can just feel free to change the entire design aspect of the style and this is going to apply to all different ones here uh, unless you know it's actually going to be more specific then you will need to look for that specific thing and change it so uh, feel free to adjust the style of the uh, pop-ups however you like but now we can just go back to rules and content these are going to be the important things that we need to look, keep an eye keep an eye out for so first it's going to give us an option to publish our pop-up but first let's just go in and actually adjust things so the pop-up name we can just feel free to change that so this is going to be visible only to you so this is going to be uh, something that you uh, can use to identify the pop-up and then we can also change the discount coupon so whether it's going to have no discount which would be weird or we can just go for discount code and select the type whether it's going to be percentage off fixed amount or even free shipping i'm just going to leave it as percentage off and leave it as 10 percent now we can also uh, set up uh, the sticky discount bar whether we want it to show or not i'm just going to leave it as show for the time being and also same thing goes for the sidebar widget i'm going to also make sure that it is going to show up now usually you're just going to be happy with only one of them being on not both at the same time but for the sake of this video i'm just going to keep both turned on and then we also have the trigger whether it's going to be on all devices or desktop or uh, mobile as well uh, but i'm just going to leave it as all devices and i recommend that you keep it the same and we also have a uh, show on a timer immediately after three seconds and so on i also keep it immediately now the frequency is also going to be and by the way if you want it to be the exit intent one you can just do exit uh, exiting the page but i'm just going to uh, keep it as it is and move on so frequency every time anyone visits or limit frequency to how many times it's actually going to show up but i'm just going to leave it as it is again with every time anyone visits so so far it's going to be very simple so when is pretty much when do you actually want it to show up and also the frequency is how many times you want it to show up and then we also have more rules so show on any page or only show on specific pages so if you want it to be only on specific ones you just need to select that and make sure you go ahead and add the url to the page that you want but i'm just going to keep it as it is again so here you can also feel free to change whether it's going to be uh, uh, you know divided by countries or not so show in any country or show in certain countries and so on so now with that we can just feel free to go to content here and we can just set up the content of the uh, star status success status and so on so we are going to start with the start status we can feel free to just go ahead and change the heading to whatever we want as you can see but usually you're going to do something like 10% off or something. So make sure you have it um, 
a professional because people are going to be seeing it and especially the title because this is going to be what people will see first description is going to be um, a slight description just letting people know about this discount further if you want to and you can feel free to just completely remove it if you don't feel like it's necessary so uh, now for the form you can add the different form fields so we if you want to add name you can also feel free to do that if you want to make sure email address is on but you can also feel free to remove it if you want to and if you click on edit you can actually make a field required or not so that's a thing and then we also have the different actions so these two different buttons so primary button which is going to be claim discount which is very useful and if you want to adjust it you can click on edit and change the text within it oh sorry within it and click on done and again same goes for the secondary button here if you just feel free to remove it or just keep it and click on edit and change it to whatever you want now in here we also have the footer text which is going to be you are signing up to receive communication via email and can unsubscribe at any time i would prefer to just keep it the same because you want to give them this message one way or another and then we also have the success status which is going to be exactly the same thing you just have the ability to change whatever you want so if you want to change the heading feel free to do so if you want to change the description feel free to do so and you get it same goes for the sticky discount bar and same goes for the side bar widget and we also have more things like error text and uh, things like that as well and once you're happy with it you can just click on save on the top right and go to rules publish your pop-up and you can rate them if you want to uh, and now you're pretty much good to go this pop-up should be available on your site and people will be able to see it right away as you can see and well they will pretty much be able to add their email address and click on uh, you know the confirm uh, button and they will actually get the discount for it so again this is going to be one type you also have the different type which is the spin wheel one which is also going to have similar uh, type of adjust uh, you know different contents and rules and stuff but it's going to be similar but uh, it has its own style thingy so hopefully you found this video to be informative and thanks for watching